Right, this is Sheila. Around about the 8th of June 2016. I left West, uh, Western this morning on the 9 o'clock bus. It's about after 2 now. I went to Wells, W E L L S, and got a bus there. And then I walked from Wells up to Ebba Gorge via Wookie Hall. I then decided to try a track to get me over to here but it took me on a wild, not a wild goose chase but a long detour which took between half an hour and an hour off my precious time. It's very hot and uh, the weather is also very hot and possibly thundery. Well, I'm in the middle of a cornfield. There's only there's a couple of clouds that look a bit dodgy and they're sort of right over me. But they didn't predict thunder and lightning today. But anyway, I'm walking through this cornfield. There's no late buses in the summer anymore. That's really annoying. There used to be a late bus up to 10 to 8 in the evening from Cheddar. They, the last bus is just before six o'clock now, which is very annoying because you can't do no evening stuff. I mean, it's really bad for people that can't drive as well, that rely on the buses. Anyway, when I came here a couple of months ago, I can't remember exactly when it was, but I came here. It was um, colder. Um, this was all... Um, none of this was like this. Was, you could see the, the ground. But I thought, oh, what a lovely walk. Anyway, rather than kill myself trying to get back to Cheddar, I might just go to Draycott. Uh, it's all in the countryside. I might have to do a diversion. Because I don't really want to kill myself trying to get back to Cheddar for quarter to six. Over a stile. Oh, there's a ticklet. Hey, you ain't getting me. Go on. Bloody things. They're horrible things. They wait till someone like me comes. And then they try and get you. And I've already had two on me. I managed to get them off. I managed to get them off before they jumped on me and bit me. I've been bitten by midges. Yeah, none of this was here. It's rather nice, isn't it? I don't know, I think this is barley fields. I don't know, it just seems like barley to me. I'm just hoping I can at least get to Draycott if, if there is going to be a storm. I mean, you can't really tell. I mean, at the moment, it's very still, which is always a sign. Um, they said it might be a bit overcast. Well, it's very overcast. I don't normally take risks when they know it's thunder and lightning. I mean, people have been struck yesterday going to pick the children up from school. Two children and a father were struck, seriously injured. Anyway, I mustn't worry about that at the moment. I'm in the middle of nowhere and I'm up high. Well, I'm enjoying myself. I like to keep fit. I actually always feel better when I'm up here. As soon as you go back in a valley, um, as soon as you hit the valley, um, that's when you notice it, the mugginess. You can't breathe. Right, I'm coming up to another now. I can't remember how many fields I had to go through. Anyway, I've had um, 
a banana, a fruit bar, a carton of that current, which I don't normally have this early in the walk. Um, I have, I've still got plenty of water and sweets, apple, three, three oranges, and a jelly. Jelly is always a good energy booster, I find. Right, carry on, kids. And let me just put that camera there. I get off over this particular style. Yeah, I've just walked right across there, look. It's beautiful, isn't it? I've been stung by all sorts of things and singing at all. Of course, I've got to head over that way. But I don't know the quick way. Pretty's down there and over there, look, it's a caravan site. Over and out.